Today's episode is sponsored by Great Stuff Insulating Foam Sealant. Hello my creative weirdos, welcome to another Mr. Heat Decorates on a budget. If you guys aren't familiar with the series, this is where Joey and I go into the room of a creative weirdo just like you guys and we use up to $300 to make over the space and today we are going to visit Allison. She's 24 years old. She just recently moved to LA and she has a unique situation because she's living in a room that used to be an Airbnb. So it's rather impersonal, totally not her personal style, which is more of the, if you've heard of it, it's called Huga. It's like a Scandinavian term that actually evokes more of a feeling than it does necessarily a style. But of course it draws upon the Scandinavian kind of minimalist simplicity, neutral gray, white, black. And then she also likes a little bit of Bohemian, some plants, and a little bit more pattern than necessarily the Huga style represents. And thank you so much, Great Stuff, for sponsoring today's episode. We will tell you a little bit more about that later. So I'm so excited. Let's learn a little bit more from her. She's a longtime creative weirdo and so cute. Allison, let's go meet her. Bye. You're here. Nice to meet you. I'm so excited. I've been watching you guys forever, and you guys are here. Ah! So this is crazy. This is very crazy. Well, let's go see your space. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's a good size. Yeah. So the walls in here are beige. Yeah. It's kind of dirty. It is. Yeah. So before you moved in here, your roommate mm -hmm. used this as an Airbnb room. Yes. And this was how your roommate decorated it. And I actually took off some decorations. It was very purple in here. Was it? Yeah. Not was it my vibe? No. Was it my vibe? No. Okay. Okay. Yeah. What's your vibe? I feel like I like more like neutral colors. Okay. Like minimalistic. So tell me about that headboard because that's interesting. Did yeah. you make that? Somebody made it. It looks like it's like a stage one. <laughs> <laughs> like, like a DIY, <laughs> someone didn't finish? Yeah, okay. it looks like an unfinished project. So you like minimalism, but not that minimal. Yeah, not that minimal. Okay. Yeah, I like to sing, and I love, like, everyone in this house loves to sing, and we uh -huh. love karaoke, so we usually do it in my room. Um, oh. And so I would love an area to, like, sit or lounge so it's not on my bed. I don't really like cheese on the bed. Right. I mean, I would love a place for like people to sit and so we can like get gotcha. a Gotcha, okay, okay. So seating for four in a bedroom, that's an interesting ass. <laughs> but I like it, it's individual, yeah. So you're a creative weirdo? Yes. Duh, long time, Joey. Long time creative yes. weirdo. Cool. I thought you were gonna go right into this. So we can go into that. We get in. in. Allison on three. One, two, three, Allison! Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I love Allison. This is gonna be so fun. I really hope we can pull that room together for her and her karaoke hangs. But before we do that, you know what I'm gonna say. Subscribe, guys. Hit that button. Also, make sure to hit the notification button. And if you wanna take the relationship a little bit further, you can also hit the join button to access our bonus content, which we work hard on to make for you members. So, that's something to do. Another thing on the to-do list for us right now is to pull that room together for only $300. Oh my gosh, it's gonna be a challenge but I'm up for it. Joey and I are gonna hit up the thrift store, but first let's get back into her room and diagnose the space and really kind of come up with a design before we go shopping. Let's do it. Knock, knock. I'm Mr. Kate. Oh, hey, you don't even hey, need the introduction. Hey, you already know hey, who this hey, is. I'm Mr. Kate. I'm here. I'll take a look at your place. room so let's talk about what we can reuse in this space when you walk into this room it is one of those rooms like kind of different from what we usually work on where you go actually it's not that bad there's two matching side tables the bed is in a good position they've mounted the TV there's a desk there's a media unit but there is no clear personal style in here so with that in mind, let's talk about the stuff that's in here that we can reuse. This desk, I think I wanna have Joey just cut it down so that it's a slimmer, more console depth table and actually maybe use this under the TV because I'm thinking that this piece here has the look of a bench 
And that's cool because that's very in line with that kind of like Scandinavian minimalist vibe. We just need to figure out some kind of cushion for this. This wall mirror, super basic. Maybe we use this horizontally somewhere on the wall because that could be a way to keep this in here, fill up the wall, not have to spend money on too much artwork because there are a lot of walls in here. Speaking of the walls, guys, they're stained. So no matter what, I'm going to reserve some money in the budget to get enough paint to cover all of these walls. That is a must. And I'm thinking we go white, because again, minimalist, bohemian, etc. Okay, let's talk about over here. We have two matching side tables in good condition. I'm thinking maybe we go black with these. Black and white, minimalist, meets boho. Totally be in line with her neutral, neutral color scheme that she wants in here. I love that she has the guitar and the ukulele here. Music close to her heart. She's from Hawaii, ukulele, yay. Let's talk about this bed. It's a good size, the bedding is nice, in good condition, I like the throw pillows, we're keeping that. This headboard, okay, it wobbles. <laughs> so I'm thinking maybe we use this wood to make something else because that would be very budget saving of us. We wouldn't have to get supplies. One great thing that Joey noticed while we were here meeting Allison before is that that plate up there is actually covering a wiring situation for a light and there are no overhead lights in here she just has like that floor lamp that she has facing up to the ceiling so i definitely will want to take advantage of that wiring we have so much to do in here oh my gosh we have a day we have 300 dollars. let's go find joey and go shop hello joey. hi guys <laughs> all right so i found me joey and we also found ourselves in a rental van because we need to get a sofa for this project like we talked about. So we got on good old Craigslist. And let me show you guys. So this sofa right here, this is the classic like inexpensive Ikea sofa, which I think is actually usually close to $300 new. We're gonna get this thing for 60 bucks. Yeah, the guy had it listed for 95, but I think it's probably been up there for a while. And so he said he would give it to us for $60. There it is. Oh my gosh, wait. Do you see hairpin legs on that sofa? <gasps> Yay! It has cool legs on it, do you I see? Know, All right, sofa, we've got a new home for you. Yay, we Yay, have a sofa. sofa! Okay, so now we're going to one of our favorite thrift stores here in LA. Love the city, we need a chair for the corner. We Rug. need a rug if we can find one so we can get rid of that sort of sad shag rug. Maybe some fabric to cover the, like a cushion of sorts for that media unit to turn it into a bench. So thrifting we go! Oh my gosh, it's packed. Look at all that stuff. Thrift store! Packed in here almost more than last time. Well, these are cool chairs. Well, this one's like too much like a desk chair. We need more like a lounge chair. Like that sh shape is perfect. Wait, I feel like this shape is perfect. I like this. I kind of wish that... A hamper? <laughs> you like that hamper? Yeah. <laughs> We're not in the market for a hamper. Wait, what about this one though? Because... Oh, <laughs> I know I sat down around <laughs> people to get up again. 15 bucks, not bad. Okay, so we have that media unit that we want to turn into like a bench, right? And so in order to turn into a bench, oh. Like $5 a sheet set. <gasps> really? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So we need to make a cushion for it. We have to get this. Okay. This is perfect, done. These are all Oh, Joey, cool. what about this? Oh my gosh, I love this. Yeah, that actually like is little really flowers. Cool. Oh my it's gosh, like for her makeup. It's probably for like old film. Like you'd put like your film in there. You guys. <sighs> you guys know how obsessed I am with boobs. Wait a minute. Shut up. We have to get this. I, we just have to get this. Really? Yes. Not for this. Yes. For this. Why not? This is a. She wants to be cozy. Okay, that is a huga right there. A <gasps> <laughs> this is kind of cool. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. That actually would be kind of a cool look though, like wiring this to the side wall sconce and then having this hang down. Cool.
cool. Everything? Yep. All right. Feel good. Remind me what Love the City supports again. So Love the City supports the homeless, shelters, work with Culver schools, middle school, high school, families that are in need. Cool. Oh, that's amazing. So basically, you guys are just trying to love this city. Yes. Yeah, that's amazing. That's I mean, you awesome. know, you just don't have to live in the community, but we help anybody. Yeah. All right, well, you we're ready too. to check out. Ready to check okay, out. We, we got, got a lot of stuff. stuff. Okay, awesome. Oh my gosh, you guys. We're kind of scoring today. How much did we score at that thrift store? All those textures we got with the throw pillows and the rug that we found. We need to stop at a hardware store and get paint. And also I want to get some more plants. Hopefully I'll find some cheap plants because she wants to bring in some greenery in the room. And then I think we're going to stop at our studio, Mr. K's Studios, and get some old frames that we have. All right, put your seatbelt on. Okay, all right, we're going, we're going, and then we'll see you back at home. know in these on a budget episodes it's all about repurposing what's already in the room and this duvet cover that Allison had on her bed is in great condition it's just not necessarily the color I would love for the room so fabric dye is an amazing budget saving solution $2.99 a bottle we've got two bottles here and this is the pearl gray color. And since this is a cotton, 100% cotton duvet cover, we also want to add a cup of salt to the mix, which will just help the dye adhere to the fabric. And also a little squish, like a teaspoon-ish tablespoon of dish soap. So let's get dyeing. So I have got Mr. Duvet cover in here and the key is to just make sure you keep stirring it for like 10 to half an hour or so. Don't have that much time so I'm really gonna try to get it nicely soaked in and then probably just let it sit in here, maybe come and turn it around a little bit. If there are some variations in the dye once it's done, like some slightly darker areas, I won't hate it. I'll like it. So. I'm not being too precious about the dyeing process of this all. Hey everyone, we want to quickly tell you about today's sponsor, Great Stuff Insulating Foam Sealant. Great Stuff has a product to help you with any kind of project in your home that needs to be sealed. Today we're talking about Great Stuff Fire Block. One thing you may not even realize is how much control you're losing over your home's temperature by air leaking through cracks around your various electrical outlets and switches. Not only does that affect the temperature in your home, but it's also a really easy way for fire and smoke to spread. The product is super easy to use with its new smart dispenser available only from Great Stuff. All you need is gloves and safety glasses. Shake the can for 60 seconds, twist on the smart dispenser, turn your can upside down, and go to town on any cracks you want to seal. And the Great Stuff will do the rest. double threat as it seals out air and moisture to help keep your home insulated, which in effect lowers your energy bills and also makes your home that much safer by helping in the worst case scenario to slow the spread of fire and smoke. It's easy and quick to use with greater control and less mess. Once you sprayed your fire block into the crack, it quickly expands to fill the shape of the gap and forms a long lasting airtight water resistant seal and you can clean up any unwanted excess with acetone or fingernail polish remover. You can move on to other areas in your house that you want to seal and then come back after 15 minutes and scrape away any excess with a serrated knife and voila, 
one less spot in your house you have to worry about, and you can reuse the same can and smart dispenser for up to 30 days. So if you're looking for an easy way to seal in savings, <laughs> improve the safety in your home, or keep out unwanted pests, check out one of the many options from Great Stuff Insulating Foam Sealants. Now let's get back to the decorating, shall we? Oh my gosh, how good does this color look in here, you guys? This is one of my favorite shades of white. I'm putting it in quotes because it actually does have a touch of gray to it, but it just reads so beautiful. It's the exact tone that we want in here for our like minimalist Huga coziness. Little Bohemian. All right, so I'm gonna talk to you guys about some artwork. Joey and I stopped at Mr. Kate Studios where we have a ton of Ikea frames, you know, those really cheap Reba frames. So I'm just thinking we donate a couple to this project because we just have them laying around the studio. So I'm spray painting a few of the white ones black outside, they're still drying. But then I happened upon this one that was is already framed and look at that photograph, you guys. Guess where I took that picture? Hawaii! She's from Hawaii, remember that? Tidbit, Allison is from Hawaii. So yay, major yay. So that's going in here. The other artwork that we're gonna bring in is I asked Allison to email me some pictures and I got them printed in a way that you guys know I like to do when we're on a budget using the architectural prints, either architectural or blueprint printing at your local copy shop because guess what, it is so much cheaper than if you printed on like photo paper. So these are just a couple bucks to print as opposed to like 20 plus dollars to print. I thought this picture was so cute of her family when she was little. I actually love the headroom of this. And then I also printed out this picture, which I just thought was like such a rad moment of her running. So these are gonna go into our frames and on the wall somewhere, because we got a lot of walls in here. So that's the plan. Mmm, getting a face. I'm really getting a facial. Okay, guys. Remember we have that media unit in her room that has that little three-sided backing to it. So Joey and I stopped at the fabric store and got this quick piece of foam cut to the exact dimensions of the size of that bench. And my thought is, let's quickly cover that with this beautiful linen. Now, the one difference is instead of this being like a seat cushion that has a piece of wood underneath it, which I could use a staple gun to attach the fabric to, we're just using this piece of foam. So I'm gonna use my handy dandy glue gun because I'm a hot glue gun mess. I'm gonna use this to attach the foam and I think it's gonna be nice and strong. You wanna make sure it just gets hot enough to really make sure to adhere both the foam and the fabric together. All right, guys, 14 projects later. Okay, but let's just talk about how amazingly budget-saving we were with taking that headboard. We made so many things out of we that We made board. five things from that one headboard, and we didn't even have to buy wood for it. And, like, look at how these tables turned out. Yeah, so basically Joey, we Joey, they look so cool. These two tables, which the way we did the legs is kind of like a funky overlap pattern to just make it stable. And then the, with the height being yeah, like kind of one a little bit higher, nesting. they nestle and so they'll be over there by the couch. We also made- So that's one, two. We also made three, these four. guitar holders because she has her guitar. And her ukulele. So we've got a guitar holder, ukulele. ukulele holder, which we painted these, the color of the walls. And those will go up there, I think probably like staggered a little yeah. bit. This scrap, these are scraps from the headboard as well. And this was another fitted sheet from the thrift store because they had all those fitted sheets, but they're linen again, right? Remember we used that other one for the cover of the cushion, which speaking of is right here. 
looks so good. Like, look at how this turned out. Fits like a glove. Like a glove. And it's so much more comfortable. Look it's at this. <gasps> I'm so excited about how many budget saving things we did in here. Yeah. So anyways, this is a piece of the scrap wood. Joey made this mount for it, stapled this. Um, sheet on. And yeah, basically you can see how we sort of pleated it on the back of this with the staple. And, and then we're gonna just mount it like this. So it just kind of waterfalls over this edge. And the idea with this is because we didn't have it in the budget to get a curtain rod and like two curtain panels, which we actually didn't need because she has these really functional, perfectly sized vertical blinds, which you guys know we don't love vertical blinds. So this is gonna be our vertical blind camouflage. Right. So rather than having like two panels on this wall, I think it's cooler to have just like the one patch of the textile over here. And also guys, we got this, this like bench seat stool at the thrift store. It came with the chair. We didn't even know when we were checking out. The guy was like, oh, there's that comes as a set. A two for one at the thrift store. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna so get these on the wall. So that'll be cute under there. You go decorate stuff. Okay, yeah. Oh, we have artwork to get up. Yeah. Okay. And the bed. Oh! <gasps> Is that a sconce on your shoulder? Or are you just happy to see me? It's a sconce. But I'm happy but to see you. It's actually not a sconce, it's a pendant oh. light. <laughs> ah! Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome to oh. Room on a Budget. Flip the switch, see if it works. Woo! <laughs> okay, so obviously we took some major design liberties with this, you guys. You wouldn't normally mount a pendant light. Well, you wouldn't on normally have the wall like this. A light outlet up here. We got lucky. But okay, let's talk now and about And this couch our... looks great. Oh my God, why didn't I tell? Guys, our Craigslist couch in great condition, great color for our color palette. The, whoever owned it upgraded the legs to these hairpin legs, which yeah, is perfect. Yeah, which is so cool. We like didn't even know that until we saw it in person. Yeah. Like she can host like 10 people in here. Yeah, so much seating. <laughs> the karaoke parties are gonna get crazy. We better get invited. And should we roll out the rug? Well, wait, let me first talk about the artwork here. So we have this picture of her running the race, which I think is so rad. I want to do something asymmetrical on here. So rather than putting like artwork, artwork, I think we do this frame over there. Okay. And then let's do these. These are the little <laughs> tiny baskets from the thrift store. Like literally, I don't even know, 10 cents each or something. Something like this. Totally. You know, yeah. and that's that like, Cozy vibe, bringing in the natural texture, bringing in a little bit of bohemian accents that she likes, so. Okay, let's roll out the rug. Wham, bam. Or f unfold the rug. Let's unfold the rug. <laughs> Yay, thrift store rug cuddle. <laughs> With our awesome <laughs> oh, vintage it's a suitcase. A rug cuddle journey. Let's take a journey <laughs> into the world. Mm. Oh, you can even sit against. Oh good, though this is great for me. I got all your stuff packed, everything you need for the Where land are we of going? Huga. Oh, I like the land of oh hoo, Huga. Huga. I don't we've said it so many times in this episode and we're probably not even saying it right. All of our Scandinavian, Norwegian, Danish creative weirdos out there just correct us if we're saying it wrong. We're cozy. We're cozy. That's what Huga is, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like a feeling. It's a cozy vibe. No, I feel so cozy with this. I love this. It's I a nice little rug. That this is five dollars. This is such a cool suitcase. So cool. Okay, let's, let's go. Do... What? Let's go. Let's do, do more. It. Do more. Here. Okay. Oh no! Wait, no wait. I need to actually. Okay. Oh wait, no. Okay. No, no wait. <laughs> Ready? One, two. Huga. Oh, Huga. <gasps> But not least, going right here. 
Oh my gosh, okay, I think we're done in here. Whoa, we made a huge change in this room for very little money. What do you guys think? Okay, so let's just break it down. It is totally transformed in here. We were really very crafty with this budget. I think this room is an example of reusing primarily to make sure that you can save money. We reused her desk to make it into a console table. We reused her media unit to become a bench for her friends to come and sit on. We reused her bedding and her bed, and we reused her side table to become this little dresser moment over here. So we really were able to maximize what was already available to us in this room so that we could then get a sofa and a chair for the corner. We got that bonus little bench, which is another seating moment. So we really created a floor plan in here that is suited for Allison's needs in the space. Hosting her friends, we've got the vibe that she wanted in here, that huga minimalist, cozy feeling with our textures, the keeping the colors neutral. It's just, it's a great vibe in this space. We really benefited from the swivel mount of the TV too for the floor plans. And then let's talk about the details in here. I mean, the fact that we took that headboard that she was like meh about and made these rad tables. Like these tables look so cool, that kind of mid-century vibe we're going for. And then I love how they're tiered and what's great about these two is they can move around the space. Migratory tables. And then our artwork on the wall, photos of her family, of her being a badass, finishing whatever race that is. It's just a great reminder vibe-wise. And then of course the Hawaii picture, which was just like a happy accident <laughs> that I had already taken, but she is obviously from Hawaii, so it's very close to her heart. And then the elements of greenery throughout the space, an inexpensive way to bring in a little bit of that bohemian feel, coziness, coziness. I really hope that she likes it in here. It made me... Kate. What? She's here. She's here? Okay, perfect. Oh my gosh. We're done. You look so cute in this room. <laughs> oh, you too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, you ready for me to bring her yes, in? Yes, I'm ready, you guys. Let's bring her in. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay. Eyes are closed. Don't okay, look, don't look, don't okay. look, don't look. Kate's going to place you. Kate's going to yes. place you. Ooh. It smells new. Does it smell new? Oh, oh my god. So I feel like my fists are going to explode. I'm so excited. <laughs> You're clutching them so hard. <laughs> I'm so excited. On the count of three, right? Yeah. One, two, three. What? <laughs> Tearing up. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> oh yeah, I love this oh, one. That's so cute. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know you were gonna pick one of the old ones. So <laughs> you kind of so... caught me off guard. Oh, oh. I like happy tears, happy tears. Oh, again. this is this is amazing. Obviously, we repainted your side tables and made them into sort of a, a cohesive chest. unit over yeah. there. Yeah. I don't know if you've ever heard of the like huga. No. That's really what your style kind of encompasses because it's uh, like Scandinavian, minimalist, cozy. Yeah, and yeah. like where you want to spend time for yourself and with your friends. Yeah, and, and also, like and yeah, it's more about like emphasizing like a feeling, hanging with friends and having people that are over and gathering. Yeah. Which is what you like to do in this room. So, this you was literally nailed it. Oh, oh God. God. nailed it. This was your desk. Wow. We trimmed down another seating option. So we got some vintage pieces to bring in just that like coziness, the earthiness, you know, a little bit of that bohemian vibe too yeah. that you like. Oh my God. Also, you know, cause you're an old, an old time creative weirdo. What is this? Oh man, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I could have, I could have. I could have tried, I could have tried, but 
I, there's so many things. A poof. Right now. Oh yeah. Oh, right. You poof. know my obsession with poof. Yes. Yes. This is the smallest poof you've ever seen, right? I honestly was gonna ask you if that was like a <laughs> foot thing. I think it's a foot thing. I was like, it's so small. It's, it's good like a poof for like when foot. you're you know working on the on the couch and you want to put your you know rest of one foot. No. Brilliant. We're we're small. You can fit both. Feet. Your karaoke <laughs> party's gonna have one, two, three, four, so five, six, room. seven, eight. What we'll put one person on the smallest poof ever too? Nine people in here to carry. Yeah. It. This is what it, it, this feels like a home. Like, oh, that's so why bad. I like got so emotional. <laughs> no, that's good. Thank it, you guys. It is your home. I know, yeah. I know. Home is very important. Yes. You're Thank welcome. You. Seriously, no. amazing. Oh my gosh. Good question. So yes. Do you, like Do you recognize your side tables? <gasps> is that from the headboard? <laughs> yeah. It's from the unfinished headboard. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes, we repurposed. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> we also we also made those guitar and ukulele hooks from the unfinished headboard. Wow. And we and hung the curtain, which was, it's not really a curtain. Explain it, Kate. Okay, so this is our, because because we're playing with asymmetry in here, and obviously uh -huh. the vertical blinds are great because they're really functional for this window and they fit perfectly. Uh -huh. So this is just more a panel of linen, which uh -huh. is a beautiful texture to conceal the vertical blinds when they're gathered. Yeah. There. Wow. Right? Because it's pretty and it's made from an old linen sheet. Wow. A vintage linen sheet. That was what I was worried about. I was worried that it was going to feel uneven if we put the bed over there. But right. it doesn't It doesn't feel uneven right. at all. Right. You have to yeah. have the areas justified in certain ways. Yeah. So, yeah. Guess what else? What? That comforter. That duvet cover. Yes. Was, was yours. It's, your, it's familiar. It's just... Kate dyed it. What? <laughs> cool, right? Yeah. That is insane. It literally looks like a new duvet. Yeah, right? And wow. I love the tone of it. It came out also a little like washed, like the stone washed look. Yeah. And guess what? What? <laughs> we only spent $200. What? <laughs> <laughs> what in the world? You know how we do it, thrift stores. Yeah. But you we called got, it repurposing. Yeah. yeah, we got really lucky with our thrift store finds and we maxed out that <laughs> I know, I'm yeah. obsessed with these like, I would buy those. I would buy those too. Like, they're so cute, and Joey did such a good job. You have a living room inside your bedroom. Yep. Which was a dream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is what I wanted. Yay! Oh my God, dream thank you true. so much. Seriously. You're welcome. Thank you for thank letting you us invade your space and trust us. Yes. Oh, yes. oh, in the thank lamp. You. Yeah. Yeah. Lighting, cool, right? lighting there. Yes. <laughs> we didn't realize until <laughs> Joey took the plates off. But yeah. yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, oh, check it out over there. Well, we'll leave you, but Have go. Have a seat. Go, yeah, I want her to go look at. Go explore, go, go whatever. Look at, I think that vintage box over there, yes. I think it's meant for film, but you should put like like makeup in there. Oh my gosh. All right, but, I'm, oh, taking, okay. I'm taking my pregnant wife home. Bye, Allison. Bye, thank we you. Love Bye, you. Allison. We love you guys. Thanks for being a creative weirdo. <laughs> Bye. All right, we are back in the car. That was a great day. Uh, dropped off the U-Haul. We're back in our own car. Got all loaded out. And wow, what a Woo. doozy. I know, what a doozy, but like, what an accomplishment in that room. I'm so proud of all those like hacks we were able to do. I love these budget videos so much because it just challenges us to be like extreme creative weirdos. Like, yeah. guys. Reusing, thrifting. Thumbs up for being an extreme creative weirdo. Yeah, we know you guys are. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Guys, huge thanks to Great Stuff for sponsoring today's episode. Great stuff! It's great stuff. <laughs> Use it when you need to seal any cracks or help out in any way around the house. Yeah. Subscribe if you're not already. Join the Creative Weirdo family. Yes, it would mean so much to us. Honestly, this community of Creative Weirdos keeps us going. So thank you for subscribing and thank you for turning on that notification bell too so you can be in the early squad. And if you guys want to take it to the next level, you can hit the join button and become a member and we got vlogs and all that stuff for members. So yep. follow us on social media and thumbs it up. Kate is currently, I don't know when we're releasing this video, but Kate is currently like very pregnant. Very, I'm either so. very pregnant when this video is coming out or I have already had the baby. But regardless, she worked her butt off and is very pregnant and that's very impressive. So oh, big thumbs up for her. He just kicked me just and for him. That. He's cheering on inside. He liked the room too. But yeah, we love you guys and we will see you on the next decorating video. Leave a comment below. Let us know what budget room style or vibe or whatever you want to see us do next. This one was a fun challenge with the Huga 
thing and I hope you guys like learned a little bit about that because that was sort of a new term for me as well. I just recently learned it. So yay, let's learn together, let's create together. So stay creative, stay weird, stay you. We love you so much because why not? Bye. Bye guys. Look at this. Nice Isn't that love? <laughs> That's where are you putting it? Where'd you put it? You <laughs> wait what? <laughs> That's love. I didn't see him put it in his mouth. But now how are you getting rid of your gum? No, you take it back. No, 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 no. <laughs> that was this was no. Cut. Oh my gosh, we're contestants with the judges! This is so cute. <laughs>